You know, everything's about to change because every time I open up my phone and I look at the news in our industry, I'm seeing something that isn't mirrored in the technology space that we're using every single day. And that story is this idea of AI and machine learning. But there's good news and bad news to this because the good news is if you see the opportunity and potential in AI in workflow, then you're gonna get it. It's coming like an avalanche. But if you're skeptical and you're slow and you are a late adopter and you wait till everything becomes a rock solid standard, I got news from you. It's an avalanche for you too. So you don't really have a choice. I'm really here to fix the real problem, workflow. Because when we think about workflow, we think about the tool sets. We think about what we're gonna to use to capture, what we shoot on, how we edit. These things are rigid, they're tools. Tools are not actually that flexible. And that's why this is not workflow. Workflows are found in the joints and the joints is where AI is the ripest for our community. And that's actually how we named the company. Strata is Italian for street. And when I think of workflow, I think about a journey. And so in order to get to that, we wanna talk a little bit about why we are building this company. And to do that, please welcome my brother and co-founder, Peter Cioni. So we wanted to start with the why of Strata. And we are really excited about the building that we're trying to build. And the taller you build the building, the deeper the foundation has to be. So today, we're really talking about these core foundational tools. So first thing, we talk about content creation. Content creation usually involves collaborating. Collaborating often means sharing files with each other. So we wanna solve that. And then we're seeing a lot today with the prevalence of local stories being shared with a global audience that speaks literally thousands of languages. So imagine if you actually could do the translation and the transcription when you start. So we wanna solve that. We're all creative in our own ways and we all think like creatives. But in order to find the footage you just shot, most people talk in scene and take. It would be so much easier to think about a house a mailbox, flowers. So we wanna solve that. And then finally, when you create, you have a rough cut, you need a visual effect shot, you're creating dailies, you need to create a file and then you need to move it. And so we wanna solve that. Michael said earlier, uh, Strata is Italian for street. And so we're on a journey. We're at mile one of a thousand mile drive. And what we're showing you today is the very, very beginning. So I actually wanna bring my brother Michael back as well as our colleague and director of engineering, Austin Case. I'm just so excited to show you guys the first look at Strata. I was reflecting on an example of like how when new technologies are introduced into our lives, we don't really know what they mean. The first time I heard of Dolby Atmos, right? You don't really know what it is until I watched Ford vs Ferrari in a theater of Dolby Atmos. And I felt what Dolby Atmos meant. Right, And so today, you get to feel what an AI creative companion looks like for you, for a creator. Well, to prove that out, we're gonna do something a little crazy. Yep. And I wanna invite our crew to come out on stage and join us. And we're doing get this ready. live? We're gonna do this, okay. we're gonna do this. I'm here to pick up your Valentine's Day package. Oh yeah, uh, it's right there, don't move. Great, thank you. Okay, here you go. Oh, Jesus. Oh, uh, wait, 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 there's a balloon as how, well. How am I supposed to fit this in my car? Oh, you can just put him on your front seat and just make sure he's at his seatbelt on because I don't want anything to happen to Conan, right? Right, yes, we'll make sure Conan is safe. Yeah, thank it's, you. it's gonna fit. Barely. Cut. So what we're gonna do now is go over to Austin's computer and we're gonna take a look at Strata and we are literally starting from scratch. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add media. And so here I'm gonna start with Frame.io. This is super simple, like what you would be used to logging into any application with. I'll hit allow. And when it takes me back to Strata, what you'll see is that you actually choose which folders you want Strata to have viewable. So here I'm gonna select this Strata and I'm gonna hit allow access. And you'll see really quickly on the side here, now it's connected as a drive. And here is the take that we just shot. And I can hit play as you'd expect. Boom, okay. So now what I'm gonna show you is what we call bins. 
and bins are just like you would think of in a nonlinear editor. They don't actually disrupt your file structure. And so when I create a bin here, this is a Strata bin, so this is not gonna be in any of your cloud. I'm just gonna call this demo. And immediately I can add this to my demo and then I'm gonna go to Bcam. And then if I go to that bin, you can see they're both there. So what we're seeing right here is two video files that are still in frame IO. We have not moved the files, right? They're in place. We are not like a lot of clouds that require to move your asset to their cloud. Exactly. And there's one problem. If I hit play, I can't hear this file. Our audio file is actually uploaded to Dropbox. That's where we put it. And so normally in tools, this would be a problem. And so here, what I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna go back to my little plus button. Here, it'll pop up Dropbox. And once Dropbox loads, and there we go, I'll hit allow access. And here I can start navigating, beta launch, and here's that WAV file that we just shot. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add this to the demo as well. But I'm gonna show you something really special. And it's something we came up with and it's called Stacks. And this is a virtual file that allows you to actually sync audio and video in the cloud without rendering. And watch how simple it is. I just take this, add to stack, add to stack. And when I go over here and I turn these on, Boom, I can scrub to the middle of the take here. Hi. Hi, I'm here to pick up your Valentine's Day package. All right, let's let that sink in for a second, people, yeah. right? Do we get what happened just there? Dropbox and Frame.io are literally in time and space thousands of miles apart from each other. There's no fast background rendering in this process. They literally are independent assets that can now be isolated and put together in a virtual stack and shared and now seen and viewed. So this is a big, big breakthrough. Bonjour madame. Bonjour. Euh, je suis là pour récupérer votre colis de Saint-Valentin. Ne bougez pas, c'est juste ici. Alors, voilà. Les roses, c'est pour Antoine. D'accord, les roses pour Antoine, c'est noté. Ah, et, et le champagne oh, J'aimerais bien tout boire, hein oh, ce serait rigolo, non Alors, le champagne, c'est pour Olivier. Et le champagne pour Olivier Voilà, les roses pour, pour Antoine. Antoine. Et le champagne pour Olivier D'accord, ok. Non mais ça va pas celle-là. Bonne Saint-Valentin Et puis le chocolat, oui madame, vous aussi hein. All right. So Austin, let's take a look here and see what we can do in the strata space with this. All right, in the upper right here, you'll see this is our properties transcription and workflow settings panel. And so I'm actually gonna navigate over here to transcription and you'll see it hasn't been generated yet, but it's as simple as clicking the generate transcript at the bottom and it'll automatically start generating. And so I'm gonna go back over here and I'm gonna add this to our demo as well and then go over to our demo bin. I'm gonna click on the audio and I'm gonna add this and start making my stacks like I did before. And my transcription should be ready to go for me. Transcription, boom, there we are. It is in English and I'm pretty sure we were hearing French over there. Let's so, give it a shot. So I'll scrub here to the action. Bonjour, madame. Bonjour. Euh, je suis là pour récupérer votre colis de Saint-Valentin. Ne bougez pas, c'est juste ici. That is the fastest translation you've ever seen. So the technology here, you see, it's starting to concatenate, right? Because we're taking now the different clouds, we're keeping those together. Now we're adding the sync of A and B camera and then the sound, and now we're able to translate and transcode. What you're seeing here, so Austin can actually click on a word and it'll bring the playhead to that word. So imagine this being, you know, a five minute take or a 50 minute interview or a lecture or a sermon or a podcast. And now as you click on it, it will drive the timeline there. Hi, Hi um, I'm here to pick up your Valentine's Day package. Oh, wow. it's right there. Okay. This is Vester and this is Tom's. All right, uh -huh. and this is for Valentine's Day. Yeah, of course. Come on, what's more romantic than a 65 million year old extant pleasure? Yeah, all right, thank you. Whoop. I'll tell you who's about to be extinct. Cut. All right. So if you see here in our analysis tab, we can see 30 items. What you're looking at for the first time here is a visual representation of metadata in a way that's creatively useful. 
because it just creates a timeline of all the actions. In fact, it's not just tagging the asset, it's tagging the range in which it takes place inside the asset. You could know the product or the, or the location they're at or the prop that they're holding and say, show me this. You see, if he clicks on this and goes over the teddy bear, Okay. And then if you follow that to the right, that's what it says Teddy Bear. And then we look at the picture, it knows it because it's going to detect that. And so this is a representation of where we start with AI analytics inside of media and entertainment application. Now let's look at the dinosaur. All right, we'll go to the dinosaur clip here and there's Dino. And so if you look at this take, what you'll see is there's like two halves of this take, right? You can instantly see there's areas of interest at the beginning and there's separate areas of interest at the end. And this just becomes a new way to start to visualize how things are happening. This isn't about taking away people's jobs. It's about letting the cutting room cut more. The idea is that you're not gonna set this up to just record and, and, and tag everything. You tune it to what you want it to find because you know what you're looking for. Once you name a face, just like in your phone, your phone is able to now analyze people's faces, locations, pets, right? And when you find that, it's fast. But we don't have that in the professional world. That's unacceptable. And so we want the technology that's available at the consumer level, but we want to apply it to our teams around the world. This is really just the tip of the iceberg. And this is extremely, very, very, very advanced new types of stuff. We wish you all well. Stay tuned. Follow us on social media. Let's keep in touch. We'll see you in the cloud. Bye, everyone.